All right, here we are on the beautiful Tennessee River this morning. Uh, yes, yeah, still morning. Out in between uh, Decatur, Alabama, and Browns Ferry. We got we got Grant, we got Stuart, we got Jackie, and we're gonna do some radionuclide testing here. <laughs> and we got me. All right, let's see what we got. We're taking a background level right now. All right, it looks like we got a background counts per minute between all, it's running about 15 to 20. Yeah. All right, we got a, uh, it looks like it's going up to 24. Let's just rest, let this run just for a moment here. Yeah, it's gonna be about background count of about 20. All right, got a, probably a, oh, anywhere from a eight to, 12 knot wind blowing out of the, it feels like blowing out of the east. What do you think? It's blowing out of the east, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Almost yeah. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit better picture of Brown's Ferry here. There we go. All right, Jackie, let me get a look at this uh, count again. All right, hey, we down the, uh, right now, all right, we've got a, a down, <coughs> excuse me, an upriver water sample here. Uh, we're gonna check it out. Uh, open the back cover of that, Jackie. All right, we're taking an upriver sample. Uh, kind of establish a background level on the water, of the water. A little higher than background air. As you can see, it's going up to about 32. Looks like the average background level of the water is going to be about 30. <laughs> All right, here we are down river from Brown's Ferry now. Got a good spot of the nuclear plant. Good shot. Get a close up here. You don't see any steam coming out, so it looks like there's no uh, release that's going on. Uh, get a background radiation the count. They said I should put the sun on it. Looks like we've got a background count. It's gonna be, I don't know, it looks like about where it was at, about 14. Oh, uh, we'll take the water sample downstream. There's the plant adjacent to Douglas Drive at the house that's for sale. Oh, there that is. And so, well, background radiation of the air. It's about the same. And here we are taking another water sample uh, a little closer to the shore. Downstream. As you can see, there's the discharge right there, boiling up where you see the rift. Discharge. 44. 46. 50. 48. The discharge is slightly higher. 46. 48. Brown's Ferry plant. There's a release stack. Nothing coming out. That's where they do. 
more cooling towers. There's the new two cooling towers there. Still have a <clears throat> wind out of the east southeast. That's where we were at a while ago. Let's go back up river. There's a guard tower. You can see it real plain there. Let's see if we can see what. Can see. Brown Ferry Nuclear Plant here on a nice sunny day on Wheeler Reservoir. And that's where we came from, way down river there. Uh, excuse me, up river. Grant, we appreciate the trip, man. My pleasure. And Jackie Tipper. I'm posy. Posy now. <laughs> hey, I apologize, Grant. Jackie. Here we are back at uh, Tanner, Alabama, at the spot where we had a, a reading of 196 last Friday uh, during the rain. This is Tanner, Alabama, at the corner of uh, US Highway 31 and Browns Ferry Road. And this is the spot where we got the high reading. It's clear today, it was raining last Friday. Taking a background reading, uh, ambient air right now. Background, background reading is, uh, I think it's gonna range from about 34, a little bit above 40. like today the high reading is going to be about 60 in this same area where we got the uh, large count Friday. Uh, so is uh, uh, we attribute the large count to uh, the rain in the area washing the radionuclides out of the air.